every time I finish a project, I feel like I learn something new about my house, and that's not a good thing. I want to share my projects and talk about things like what's involved, what it costs, what my options are, and what I would do differently. The house was built in 1963. You might be wondering, how bad of a condition is it really in? Something that I quickly learned is that the previous owners like to do a lot of the work themselves, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but the work that they put in was poorly done or incorrectly done. As a result, we had tons of issues the first night that we moved in. And maybe you've had a couple of nightmares. Maybe think back on like some of those moments where you, you know, first moved into an apartment or a condo or your first home and you unlock the door and find out that, oh, the oven doesn't work. Or there's an issue with the breaker and you've never really worked with the breaker before. I'd say that some of the issues that I've had have been a little bit extreme. A latch on the door so we couldn't really get it to shut. Uh, and we even had to like kind of pick the door up in order to get the, uh, the, the deadbolt in. So it, it was really a challenge anytime that we'd leave the house. I think after a couple months, the garage door fell off the tracks. Uh, we had a gas leak the very first night. Um, and retrospect, it probably would have been better if the house just burnt down at that point. All of our gates don't really open. We found cracks in the foundation. We had the emergency gas services come out because we couldn't figure out where the gas leak was coming from. We were smart enough to know that we should shut off the gas main. We called the gas company and they sent someone out uh, as quickly as they could. Uh, I think we called around like 7 p.m. and someone showed up at like, you know, 11 o'clock at night, which to be honest, like you might complain that it took that long for someone to get out there. Uh, the fact that I had same day turnaround service, uh, knowing that I was about to go to bed, uh, feels really good knowing that a professional came by, tested it, got it fixed and everything. So yeah, lots of, lots of issues the, uh, the first night. But you know, I think after all of those issues that we've had, there's also been like a lot of lessons learned. You know, I kind of look back on some of these projects and think, would I do something a little bit differently? Did I pay too much? Did I maybe not put in enough money or care into like what I was, uh, what I was working on? Um, so I kind of think about all that type of stuff and I feel like I've experienced so much with this house that I kind of wanted to tell my story and see if there was other homeowners that might benefit from seeing all the failures that I've gone through. You know, let me try to save you from going through those those same types of issues. So I want to see if like maybe I can come from an angle where if you're a homeowner one day or if you already are, you know, are there issues or mistakes that, you know, maybe I experienced that maybe I, I was able to save you from or uh, maybe I built something in like a way that you didn't really think about or consider. Uh, or maybe you're also thinking about uh, remodeling your bathroom and you want to look back on some of those projects where maybe I did something similar. I want this to kind of be like a reference. Uh, you can think about what kind of thought and planning went into whatever project I worked on and kind of just think about, you know, what would you do? You know, you find out that all of your plumbing is bad or it's just a hazard to live in the house. You know, I think about a lot of those types of uh, issues that I've had and I think that other people can kind of learn from like some of those experiences that, that I have gone through. And it might and it might just be really helpful to either look back and see, you know, maybe even laugh at like some of the things that I had to go through. And I, don't know, I just try to think about how I can do it right. How do I do it? How do I do it the right way so that if I ever have issues again in the future, it's easy for me to go back and do any type of maintenance that I need to do. Um, I really want to avoid anything that's like really a pain in the butt to like take apart. So I guess, I guess a little bit about me. You know, in high school, I was always kind of considered the, uh, the tech guy. So I was always into computers and video games. I played a lot of Halo and World of Warcraft. Um, still play with my WoW Guild uh, to this day, uh, ever since Burning Crusade. I love that stuff. I love video games. So my gamer tag is Papa Cap. And after playing with folks for like almost 12 years now in, in World of Warcraft, you know, a lot of people just call me Papa for short, which was ultimately kind of how I came up with the name for this channel. You know, it kind of has that like warm feeling of like, yay, Papa's home. At the same time, like this is, this is my house. I've really put a lot of effort uh, into this place. I'm kind of a weekend warrior. I got my Eagle Scout shortly after my 15th birthday. I later got involved in the student government. So I got in charge of like all of the big formal dances and had to maintain a budget and figure out all that stuff. I almost thought about being a wedding planner uh, after graduating. Instead, I went to college uh, and graduated from Cal State San Marcos, studying business administration with focus on entrepreneurship. Started out my business for a little bit. It was a computer repair company. Worked at a couple of other uh, 
uh, computer repair companies as well. But I'd say like the one thing that like I really took away from you know my major was just uh, understanding the strategy that kind of goes into you know forming a business. You know you really think about like what are the long-term goals and try to um, you know set those um, kind of set your north star and figure out what it is you want to achieve. And I feel like a lot of those principles and ideas have really been imprinted on me. I'm always thinking about what does five years look from look like from now and what it takes to, uh, to get there. So later in 2012, shortly after I graduated, uh, I ended up getting my uh, dream job over at Blizzard Entertainment. I still work there today and I'm currently working as a program manager in the IT department. And I absolutely love it. One thing you should know though is that any of my opinions expressed here are strictly my own and don't reflect Blizzard's stance on any topic. So you might be wondering why home improvements? When, when I was a kid, I, I grew up and my, my dad was always working on something in the house. We, we went through so many different projects as a kid, whether the kitchen got remodeled or new flooring got put in or we repainted the house. And it felt like every weekend, you know, Saturday, I'd get super excited and I'd want to watch Saturday morning cartoons. My dad would very quickly change it to the, the old Yankee workshop or this old house. And man, as a kid, I hated it. It felt like it was always the same, the same episode uh, where they're building a table. It always felt like I was watching the same episode. You know, today we're gonna build a table, tomorrow it's a different table. But what's funny is like, I, I, this old house is now like one of my favorite shows as an adult. Um, it really helps me understand what's involved in any type of project by just going on YouTube and seeing what a hundred other people have done when, when trying to remodel their homes. You know, what types of things they think about in terms of material or what do you do in order to make sure that whatever you install is done uh, in a safe way so you don't end up hurting yourself or causing any sort of like real major damage to the house. A few things I want to call out to, I, I don't think that I'm an expert, I'm just innately curious. There's a project I think I want to work on. I'm, I'm constantly learning about like, okay, what are the materials? What, what are all my different options so that I can kind of pick out the option that I think is best for me and, and my home. I also don't think that all of these projects are for everyone. I think sometimes you'll see uh, me doing some of the work uh, myself. And that's because maybe I feel pretty confident in, in my own abilities. But I think most of the time I'm gonna end up just throwing uh, money at the problem. Uh, because I, I just don't want to do it. Um, for example, if I have to climb around in my attic, like, I don't want to go up there. I'm sure it's 10,000 degrees. But I think while watching me, I, I hope that you walk away with, like, a new perspective and, and that you're able to walk away thinking, okay, what are the right questions to ask uh, if I'm talking uh, with a professional? I might also encourage you to get started on projects of your own. You know, I might show off like a project that I did or got involved with or had recently completed. And if I think it's awesome, I'm probably going to encourage all of you guys to, to do the same. But it's really up to you. You kind of have to figure out, budget, and decide what, what projects are right for you and your home. So just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. I really hope you enjoy what this ends up becoming.